Where was the most public place you have had sex? My ex's bed. Didn't know it was that public until later. My manager's office in a gas station, would watch the security cameras while doing it to make sure the other employee wouldn't walk back and catch us. Got away with it. On the sidewalk, W. 20th Street near 9th Avenue NYC, at 1 AM. On a public beach at night. The cops thought we were sleeping, take that as you will. On a train, not in the bathroom. Stock room while customers were in the store. On the side of Interstate 40 in broad daylight. At the beach, in the ocean where the waves break. At a park on a walking trail. In a bank vault. Inside a bank. The Oceana balcony overlooking the city with cars driving by in the hallway of someone else's house. Hood of my car on the top level of a, deserted, parking garage downtown, during a rainstorm on a hot summer night. Would recommend. Between the rows of grapes at a vineyard. The roof of a house I was renting in Toronto, with lots of apartment buildings nearby. We were intending to just tan up there, but my wife tanning bikini was just too much for me to handle. Did it behind a target late at night. Doggy style. Under a tree. It was a fitting metaphor for our short, but wild relationship edit, thanks for my first Reddit award. A nice hint of irony there too given the content of the story. College library. College baseball field pitchers mound. We went back the next year to do it again as a kinky anniversary type thing. That was six years ago. We're now engaged. TLDR, in my FWB's office which had a big glass wall facing the office lobby slash common area while most employees were working from home because of COVID. I had a FWB that was the only person working in the office on her floor during COVID. She always had a fuck me in my office fantasy so when her boss left town and the office was especially quiet one day, I headed over. I expected to find a windowless office at the end of a dead end hallway or something. Nope. It was an office with a floor to ceiling glass wall facing the lobby and elevators. The middle portion was frosted but you could still see people's feet, heads, and blurry versions of the people inside. I was a bit shocked but she assured me nobody else was there, so I said fuck it, let's spank. I was a few minutes in and really giving it to her on her desk when we hear a knock on the glass door and see feet. It was an executive secretary coming to check on some maintenance work in the office. She went away but it was obvious we were busted. The worst part was that as I left, she was coming back and I had to do a walk of shame past her to get on the elevator. Under one of the arches in Moab, Utah. The Blue Lagoon in Iceland. Famous volcanic spa. Me and the wife got frisky in one of the pools where we thought was secluded. One of the lifeguards, security, came up to us, laughed and said everyone can see what you're doing. And pointed to the observation platform with a lot of tourists with cameras were watching. Edit, wow, most love I've received for a post, thanks. For the record, it was well timed as I had just finished when the guy walked over though my wife was still straddling me, maybe he waited? Seemed like a considerate chap. We waved at the people on the platform who waved back. Never seen any footage of this surfacing but if anyone was there in March 2015 and has this on film let me know, thumbs up. Jogging trail. Casino parking lot in a car. College campus too many times to count. Wings and things parking lot. Bowling alley parking lot. Restroom during senior night at Water World. Apartment balcony. But being on the top floor made it pretty low risk. Another time on the hood of the car on the side of a western Kansas road. Her dad asked what the dent in the hood was from. Oops. Not full on sex, but I did get a blowjob in the back row of a foolish movie theater during Too Fast Too Furious during its release weekend. Pretty much had the back row to ourselves and she just goes down. I guess it turned out to be my release weekend too. Probably at two different church parking lots sorry god. Ex-girlfriend's sister's wedding. Everyone was drunk so almost no one noticed us gone for an hour lol. We did look a bit out of place afterwards considering how long we kept the deed going. 
was awkwardly confronted by her mom saying where the hell have you two been? Our good old high school days. Things seemed so simple. In a river in the middle of the forest. In a beach while swimming. I wouldn't recommend it. Also, in a train, it was empty from the start to the first stop. I do not recommend this, I got with a guy at the rave and we did it in an abandoned portable toilet that was knocked over, I don't remember how many people knocked on a door of a toilet that was on its side. LOL, in the back of my minivan. Parked out in the road in front of our house, 2pm in the afternoon in town. Public hot tub in an apartment complex even had someone watching we thought we were sneaky but we were young and dumb. In a dressing room, on Yokosuka, Japan's U.S. military base there, right next to my senior chief's wife trying on clothes with him outside of the dressing room. Without their knowledge of course. So exciting. Was dating this woman who was a demon in the sack. Asked me to come see something she tried on, next thing I know I'm getting pushed down on the chair and ridden like there is no tomorrow. Finished by literally sucking my soul out. I was quite infatuated with her after that lol. Edit, thanks for my first award and all the likes, glad you all enjoyed the story. In the movie cinema with my boyfriend. Because of covid, movie cinemas are pretty empty. We sat at the back in the corner. I sat on his lap, riding him, reverse cowgirl, with my coat over our laps. There was only one other person in the cinema but they were at the front. It was actually the best sex we've had in months. In the boardroom of a downtown office building at work. Floor to ceiling windows, flushed face. Golf course putting green. Insert hole in one sex pun here. College classroom at night during finals week. Some guy walked in thinking the room was open to study in, and was surprised to see my girlfriend and I on the front table. In my dorm room's floor study room, on all the floors. I once got busy in a Burger King bathroom. Church parking lot. High school baseball field, in my twenties, public beach and a Vegas hotel courtyard. Movie theater, back row balcony. I was young and dumb. Oof, I'm a private home pool and actually on a beach. Neither of them I recommed. Water is not lube. Graveyard, it was a ghastly experience. Does it count that I gave a blowjob in the forest at the Renaissance Fair? I consider it one of my greatest accomplishments. My wife and I had sex in three bars one night in a bar hopping area by us. Good times. Got caught once. No one walked in but they knocked and we had to play it off like she was getting sick. In a quinceañera here in Mexico. Near Charleston there is the Edisto River, people take inner tubes and floats and ride the river down all the time. The most popular start and stop points are a few miles apart so you need to make sure you have one car parked at the end and take another to the start to float down. What we did and many other people do is forget to have the keys to the car at the end on you as you float and need to find a way back to the start car. The day we did this it started raining fairly hard part way down the river so by the time we got to the end there was no one else coming or going from the river while we waited, so we made our way to a bench under some trees, ate a snack, then the urges came and she rode me in the rain on a bench at a public boat landing where people get out of the river they just spent 4 hours floating down and would have seen us immediately, not to mention the fact my mother was on her way to take us to the other car. I do catfights as a side gig, I sometimes wrestle other women in the nude in a room full of men and even a few women for some easy money. Sometimes during a nude match, things get a little, ahem intimate. Behind a plaza with a main road behind and in front of us, wasn't too exciting honestly would like to be a little more risky. It's the thrills. Central Park, some street on the use, a rooftop, parking garage, hospital bathroom. Sort of related, hand stuff done to me while driving down the street in broad daylight, suck dick on the subway, fooled around in a club bathroom. In a public bathroom at a football game and in the back of a car at the local lake. In a car on the side of a highway. I've done it twice, first time went smooth. Second time we got spotted. They didn't really do anything, but they slowed down to see it and sped off, 
So we stopped partway and continued along. Not public, per se, but I've also received a blowjob in a room where a whole bunch of drunk people were sleeping. Back corner of a movie theater. In the pool area, elevator, and hallway of a motel. We were really hot and bothered. Grocery store bathroom, rolling eyes face, shushing face. Obama's inauguration in a tent during his speech. My wife's boss's country club, they had little dining rooms where if the door was closed they'd leave you alone until you opened it. She was into public, but that was probably the most risky. In multiple different parks real late at night slash in the very early morning. Edit, spelling and to clarify, when I say late at night slash in the very early morning I mean after a close shift sometime between 12 a.m. and 4 a.m. Oh boy, finally a question for me. Cemetery, parking garage, and high school computer lab. Disney World. Antique stagecoach in the display window of a Wells Fargo. Great Wall of China. In the brush, on a hill, on a military base with my husband. Lol. Not horrible but had some sticks in my hair. I have a fun recent story for this. So my husband, kids, and his sister went on vacation. His sister got a free vacation to work as a sitter when needed. So my husband and I go for a drive at night, find a walking path, and decide to go for a walk. While walking we come across a fence and a strange little building, and my husband flirtatiously asks if I want to be naughty. We go into the little building and it has a bench. Perfect. We do our thing and as we leave, we realize it is a dugout and there is a school nearby. Yes, neither of us recognized a dugout due to the dark and the fact that we are idiots. I am now panicking because that is a crime, I'm drunk and don't think about how indecent exposure is a crime to begin with, but whatever. We walk back to the truck and head back to the rental house. Well, about 5 minutes down the road, and we are getting pulled over. Initiate panic mode. My husband was stone cold sober, but I'm sure he is pulling us over because we are now on the sex offenders list for having sex near a school. Nope. Due to the street lights, my husband forgot to turn his full headlights on, just the running lights were on. We get off without a ticket and we never spoke of it again. Except to all you people. So that's the story of the time I thought I was going to be arrested for fucking my husband. Courtroom. It wasn't me, but I once walked in on some folks getting it on in a food storage freezer. My perspective was from behind the guy and the girl was on the small side, so I couldn't see her. All I saw was my dude thrusting away at a stack of broccoli boxes, so I reflexively yelled what the fuck are you doing? In a panic. He whipped around and I finally saw the girl. Deepest sigh of relief I've ever breathed. Still gross as hell, but not as bad as I'd thought. In a swimming pool. Like the other poster says, water is not lube, so my husband and I were prepared with silicone lube. Smile. In an art gallery behind the curtain of an exhibition piece. It was a dark corner. Historic lighthouse commonly used for tourism. Well the least public place in the world. My dreams. I lost my V-card in a very very tiny public park in my neighborhood. Disclaimer I was 16, so no I was not trying to be a perv or expose anybody to anything. This park was often empty and I would hang out there a lot. I took my girlfriend there after school and we planned to get it on. She was wearing a dress so at first we just made it look like she was sitting on my lap. That didn't do anything for either of us so we switched to full on missionary on the play set. Thank god no families or other individuals came by. Stupidest idea of my life tbh lol. My ex and I snuck away from our tour group and had sex in one of the cells on Alcatraz Island. When I was 17, I had sex in my car at a park at like 3 pm. I had 5% tints, so I felt pretty safe even though people were walking right next to my car. I then realized they could probably see the car moving up and down. Did that quite a few times. Oddest place, I believe I was a senior in high school. It was around 10 pm and my GF at the time calls me and tells me to come over to a certain address and says she's horny. 
I had been drinking with a couple friends and convinced a sober friend to give me a lift. I quickly head over there and realize she's at a baby shower. When I got there, she grabbed me by the hand, walked over to the neighbor's lawn and told me to lay down. Had some of the best sex with that chick. Mall parking lot when it started closing. Gender neutral locker room at my university lol. On top of the Hilton Hotel overlooking Comic on Saturday night. In Danny Phantom cosplay. 1997, JC Penny changing room. We went our separate ways a year or two later, but around 2008 we were connected on MySpace, and I read a quiz that she took where she made a subtle reference to it that nobody but me would understand, she had almost certainly forgotten that I was on her friends list. She was married by then and it would have been very inappropriate for me to comment on it, but it made me smile just knowing that she was still romanticizing that day the way I still did. Driving down the highway. Restaurant parking lot. Someone even got in their car to leave while it was happening. Bonus, car alarm kept going off lol. At the summer camp, it would be easier to name the places where I didn't have sex. In a bunch of cabins, the dining hall, nurses station, arts and crafts building, a bunch of trails, and the camp director's office. I told the director about it years later, and it turns out I had sex on a desk from the 1800s. Just happy to be a part of such a storied history. Next to a river at about 2 p.m. broad daylight. Several people went past. The beach bathroom at night, it did not go well. Went to Carlsbad Caverns. About 3 4s of the way down we heard behind us someone was having a heart attack slash stroke whatever. She had the wonderful idea of the sex right in the path. Our great times. Campground, in a sleeping bag and broad daylight. Was the night after a concert and the place was packed. The car during lunch break in high school. That are things that happen if you drive a van in Hing school. Come out with the pedo jokes people, know them all. My mind, but I was surrounded by my classmates. Bold of you to assume Redditors have sex. On a lifeguard chair at a public beach after the sun went down. Edit, I also had sex, same woman, coming back from a club in a cab with my sister passed out next to us. There are about 10 sex questions on here daily now. You'll need to get laid. Don't downvote me, it's true. In a cemetery. Girl's idea. It wasn't actually that bad just kinda disrespectful I guess some would say. It wasn't on a grave or anything just a nice patch of grass and a blanket. Plus we could see the stars really well. In a park restroom. Girl's idea. She walked in first and I walked in after. Like we thought we were sneaky, smiley face, we went at it in one of the handicap stalls. When we were done we left at separate times and went back to chill in my car. We saw a person in their house looking out of the window disapprovingly. Good times. Virgin squad where we at? In a parking lot behind an enclosed car trailer. Gave someone a blowjob on the highway while he was driving. In a fun house at the Jersey Shore. Many, many years ago. Empty subdivision and once went to a secluded beach that you had to walk five minutes downstairs just to reach it. We did it on the stairs, at night, until someone flashed their lights at us, flushed face, embarrassed smiley face, also started something while going through a car wash. Edit, bowling alley parking lot 2. Bus stop bencher to park and ride. I sat on the bench and she rode the bus. The bus is my penis. On the hood of my car, right by some train tracks. Flight line at an air force base as the F-18 were landing on a park bench at a state park, in the woods and also the bathroom at the SLC Capitol building. College campus, stairwell. Stairwell at my old office job. Kinda hurt being on the bottom with my ass on the stairs, but the fear of getting caught also heightened the experience. Behind a big boulder by the side of a footpath in a local woodland, not planned. In a car in the parking lot of an Avicii concert. Forest. On the side of I-5, in an ice cream truck, I was dressed as a clown. Never had multiplayer sex. Only single player. 
airport parking structure. Never giving and getting a blow job on the back of a school bus. Park, in order of preference, a balcony in Paris, back of a cab, fingered her, sauna, alley, park with someone watching, the beach, don't recommend it. Good times. P.S. Ask me anything, smiley face. Bus, staircase, stockroom, NYC taxi, club. As far as I can remember. Park. On a bench on a hiking trail in a state park, grimacing face. In the passenger seat of my 92 Celica parked on one of the islands on the Sanibel Causeway. I had just picked up my girlfriend, now wife, from the airport after she'd been on her high school senior trip with her grandparents to London and Paris. It was their graduation gift to her, although they spent the whole time arguing about how much things cost and complaining about the weather. I thought she would find it exciting, but it turns out it's just really uncomfortable for both parties, plus, every time I saw headlights go by I got paranoid. Nine months later, I became a dad. Haven't told him this story yet, though. Also, my apologies to my aunt Ellen, to whom I sold the Celica after the baby came along. In the water on a public beach, in the middle of the day. On a Saturday. People were swimming around us. We had water up to our chins, so it wasn't that obvious. We got away with it, but I'm sure some people noticed lol. A city park at 1 a.m. left a party to fuck hard and quickened and went back to party some more. The edge of the Grand Canyon. Anyone saying BRSH, don't I recommend itis literally just some kid repeating the same shit all the other kids keep saying. Beach sex is lit and you can use a fucking blanket. There's literally a drink called after it FFS. Redditors of Reddit, what's the sexiest sex that you had sex with in the sex place? Bonus points for the sexy. Edit, thanks for the gold kind stranger. A park. At a public park in a hammock, 